Watcher, welcome back to the channel. This is Essential Handyman, I'm Ian. Today I'm gonna to give you a quick video on poly filler, so filler, wall filler, filling in cracks and holes, etc. In the UK, the main brand you can get in the big box stores is called poly filler. It's not the one that all the decorators use, the best one, there's many other brands out there, but most people are more familiar with poly filler. Gonna give you a quick bit of information on how to store, the best way to store it, and uh, which ones to avoid. So this is body fella. The first two here are ready made. So you have a tub. This has got 330 grams, and you just squeeze it out of there. This is pretty good at um, keeping it dry, uh, keeping it wet. It doesn't really dry out too badly. This stuff here is your ready made stuff. The lid was put straight back on after it was used, and if you see here, it's pretty hard already. So that's a waste of money. Whatever left is in there has got to be thrown in the bin. No good to man nor beast. Um, and the other type is just powder. So you've got your powder in there, and it stays dry, as long as you're in a dry environment. This is the best type to use if you've got a small amount, you don't want to knock a lot, of, knock a lot or a load of polyfiller up, this is okay. If you've got a fairly decent area, uh, I would say use the filler. Problem about the powder filler is, if this is not in a dry area, this will, will solidify and you'll have to throw it away. It will be as, as useless as this stuff here. So, a little bit of a trick on how to use polyfiller in powder form. Okay, get yourself a plastic container. Get a wide mouth one, not a small mouth one that you'd use for drinking water or something, and literally just pour your filler into the container. This will allow no moisture, environmental moisture, condensation, dampness, etc., into the pot because it's obviously waterproof. And then you can put your lid on and you are good to go. Leave that there for as many weeks or months as you want. No moisture is going to get in there unlike it would if it was uh, just this cardboard container. So, number one trick today. Avoid this stuff. It dries out. It's useless. This stuff is okay, especially if you're not very experienced on knocking up filler. But if you want to keep your powder filler, if you want to keep your powder dry, put it in a container that has a twist container. And remember, get a big top on it. Okay, there's another super quick tip from the Essential Handyman. Remember, put it in a plastic container, keep it all dry. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. Much love. See ya.